Hamilton H900 troubleshooting, water level alarms. The Hamilton H900 humidifier has various alarms to notify you of device-related conditions that need your attention. In this video, we look at water level alarms. Water level high alarm. The water level high alarm occurs when the level of water in the water chamber is above the line marking the maximum level. This is a high priority alarm. A sequence of five audible beeps repeats until the alarm is reset and the alarm status indicator flashes red. The corresponding alarm icon is shown on the display. There are a few simple actions you can take to avoid or resolve the issue. To start with, check the water level in relation to the line on the chamber. If the water level is above the line, you can firstly empty the humidifier chamber to lower the water level and then reconnect the circuit to the chamber. If the alarm persists, you should replace the water chamber or replace the complete breathing circuit set. Spike the water bottle with a new chamber spike and ensure the chamber is filled to the correct level. If the water level is below the line, try to restart and reset the humidifier first. To do so, turn it off, remove the water chamber, slide the water chamber back in and turn on the device. If the water is at the right level and the alarm occurs again, you will need to replace the water chamber. It is advisable to replace the water chamber or complete kit if it has not been moved or used for a longer period of time. Note that the humidifier should always be operated horizontal to the floor. Water level low alarm. The water level low alarm occurs when the water level in the chamber is below the sensor's minimum detection point. This is a medium priority alarm. A sequence of three audible beeps repeats until the alarm is reset and the alarm status indicator flashes yellow. The corresponding alarm icon is shown on the display. There are a few actions you can take to avoid or resolve the issue. Check the water bag or bottle and tubing and make sure enough water is being supplied to the chamber just below the fill line. If the water bag or bottle is empty or almost empty, replace it to ensure the water is being supplied correctly. If a new chamber is needed, be sure to check it once the packaging is removed and before inserting it into the humidifier. To ensure that the float is free, flip the complete kit upside down, then flip it back up again. After you have taken corrective action, restart the humidifier and see if the alarm has stopped. If not, make sure the sensors on the humidifier are not blocked or damaged. If the Hamilton H900 alarms again, please contact your Hamilton medical representative. Sometimes the position on the humidifier is incorrect. Make sure you always operate the humidifier in a horizontal position. Note that the Hamilton H900 must always be turned off with the power key before it is disconnected from the power supply between patients. This ensures that your hospital default settings are used when it starts up again, and not the settings from the previous patient. The humidifier will shut down automatically with the ventilator, if the ventilator has the connectivity option installed. This video tutorial is not intended to replace the information in the Hamilton H900 Operator's Manual. Always refer to the Operator's Manual for instructions on troubleshooting alarms. If a technical fault is displayed, make note of the number. The faulty humidifier should be replaced and sent in for servicing together with a technical fault number.